Welcome to Just Ring It's Forza 4 Horizon Car Reviews. Today we are doing it a little bit differently. Today we are doing off-road vehicles. And I think I know which one to start off with. There it is. Seven point five litre engine, thousand and eleven kilowatt, thousand three hundred and eighty five newton meter of torque, two thousand kilogram weight all wheel drive, nineteen ninety three Toyota Baja truck T one hundred. This is my personal favourite of the off-road vehicles. And I think, let's go to one of the other islands to test it out. You can see this is primarily a sports vehicle. It is not meant for everyday driving. And you'll see by the performance why. Out of the bat, I think let's do a particular drag race on the beach. This car is fully modified already, so I'm not going to get into that. Alright, let's enter. This is definitely one of the most fun cars to drive.
kind of insane, isn't it? So I'm using Push to Talk to record my voice and I notice that every time I press the Push to Talk button, which is in this case F, then my controller doesn't pick up anything else so the car slows down and I can't control the car. Lovely, isn't it? All right, let's go to that island I was thinking of. Instantly take me there. I guess not. Absolutely love these cutscenes. Always pretty. This is quite an adventurous island, but yeah, it also uses a lot of resources for my PC, so hopefully, my PC won't slow down too badly. There's a particular race I would like to do here. Sorry that took so long. Alright, so where was this place again? Wow, it's been a long time since I've been here. I might have to just drive around and find it myself, but I think I know where it is. It's this one. Hmm. Right. It's set for the season, so I wonder if I can use this current car I have. Oh, I think I can make a plan.
this could be interesting. Oh, doesn't look like it can use that particular car. Doesn't really matter. I'll carry on with the review after the race. It's more the track that I am interested at the moment anyway. It's quite an interesting track. Whoops. Ignore that I did that.
really. There we go, I'll kick pass. Not too shabby. I'll tell you what, let's do a replay on this. You're welcome to fast forward if you would prefer. But it could be fun to watch.
I think this is the best camera. I seem to be much better at off-road driving than on-road for some reason. Never quite figure out why. Maybe it's just the game. Red Bull. The scenery uh, is pretty awesome, one of the reasons I like this island so much. So please don't drive like this in real life people, leave this to the professionals and always remember to arrive alive.
They really want us to break through barriers, don't they? But I must say, this particular vehicle is quite fun to drive as well. I do have a few off-road vehicles I'm willing to review, so next week I'm going to do one of the Jurassic Park ones. That should be interesting. Let's switch back to the car we were actually reviewing. Shouldn't take too long. I think let me just go and drop around. Let's round up a bit with the looking at these few spots. <laughs> My wife loves the Aurora Borealis. I said wife. It's looking pretty. I'd love to see a real castle.
uh, I would say to the rock band. I remember this place. Let's do one more.
all right that was actually quite fun but uh, it didn't take me too long either to go And a drive for right past it. Not bad. View, that's for sure. All right, I've got one little surprise up my sleeve. This one's going to be fun if I can figure out how to get there now. I want to check something quickly. The reason I don't use radio is because of copyright problems. I've never really tried it though, but I suspect some of the music might cause my video to be muted. And I'm sure you guys don't want that, right?
Oh, cool. You record there as well. <coughs> and that's all for today folks thank you for watching please like subscribe click on notifications and share and see you next week <laughs>